What is up everybody? Oh my goodness, we're actually live and Facebook and Instagram is working and not sh shutting things down. I can't believe that happened to us on Monday. So I hope that, the, actually I think I noticed that a lot of you were not able to jump on for Monday, but today looks like it's gonna work a little bit better for you. So I am excited for us to kick this off today. Hello, I see Caroline. Um, but this is gonna be also recorded. So if you have to jump off at any point in time, that's totally fine. It will be here for a while. Um, I'm very excited to come on here and chat with you guys about this. It feels so good to finally be clear to be able to get back to working out. So I will be going back to a full program starting on Monday. My plan between now and Monday is to really enjoy the Beachbody Interactive programs, our BODI, so those are our live workout programs. I don't have a spin bike yet because they don't come until can to Canada. Um, our mixed bikes don't come to Canada until then, so. But um, I saw today the the Jennifer the Jennifer's um, live cycling class was going on the same time that I was doing my live workout. So I did one with Autumn, which was booty and core this morning, and then I did um, I did one with Curvy Girl Fitness, which was all cardio afterwards, and it was humbling oh my goodness i cannot do burpees like i used to but it felt so good to be able to work out so um as you guys are jumping on say hi so i know that you're there um make sure you tag somebody else that you see as well to let them know that i'm live with with them i'm gonna i might actually see if i can um share this in here to make sure things are good but i do have some notes down here make sure you have a pen and paper we are going to go through everything that basically is like I'm calling this a masterclass because when I actually think back to the clients and the coaches that have had their most success, um, to my first success in a program and what those triggering main things are. Hi Jess. Um, I'm going to share with you the things that worked best. And that's why I'm calling it a masterclass because there's so much trial and error with a fitness journey. And honestly, sometimes I feel bad for people when they're first starting their fitness journey because there's so much information and so many resources that are out there that it can become almost overwhelming but the biggest thing is that you really need to understand at any point in time if you start feeling overwhelmed or you don't know where to start or what to do that you don't want to feel overwhelmed know that you're equipped and know that you have all the information that you need to be successful it's just taking that deep breath to slow down and just start from square one or asking for help or leaning in to the community or asking for help from me um, right now obviously I have a brand new newborn and I'm telling you guys this to be totally transparent and real I'm spending all my time pretty much when I'm working working my business in my chat pods and then trying to get through some of my messages on Instagram or trying to get through some of my messages on my Facebook um, because most of my time is with Warren <laughs> and then but when I'm in our chat pods and everything it's so much easier for me to be able to work with you guys so until my full routine is like in cycle where I can be like hey here's my hour block of just my messages here so on and so, so forth the way it used to be that that's where I'm leading a lot of my energy into so I want to recommend to you that when recommitting to your journey right now really focus on the fact that I will read your message no matter what if you're in a chat pod so if you're wanting to hear from me and not miss out on the high stuff then make sure that you're in a chat pod and if you're not then like you can comment in the team page in here, shoot me an email in, in email. Emails are the best way to get a hold of me as well too. So I can get you into um, the chat pods where you can make sure that you're not gonna be losing contact with me. Cool. So here are the main things we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about your motivation. Okay, hey girl, your motivation, your fitness, your nutrition, your support and accountability and discipline and grace. So those are the main five things that are gonna help you along with your journey. And I think that number one is the most important. So that's where your motivation comes in when it comes to your journey. And it really is not just like, like I have to say to you, like, what's motivating you? Like, why do you want to start your journey? Like, what makes you excited? Some people say, well, I want to learn, <laughs> I, I want to lose like five or 10 pounds, or I want to, you know, feel better in my own skin, or I want to, um, you know, want to gain some strength or whatever. But like, you really will have to like dig down deep into what that looks like. When I talk about my clients that have had the most success, or I look back at like my most successful um, transformations and my whys, it's always because I had this really strong visualization of where I wanted to be and who I wanted to be and what that looked like. So for example, I want you to really think about yourself and thinking about your future self of like where you're where you're going to be in the next like 6 months or where you're going to be in the next year or whatever your time frame is for you achieving your specific goal because anybody can say, you know, I want to get back on track or I want to feel good in my own skin or I want whatever, but if you don't have a straight 
uh, real visualization of like what that looks like, you're going to be kind of like navigating up and down. You're not going to hold yourself as accountable to eating healthy. You're not going to hold yourself as accountable to getting that workout in or having that no matter what mentality. So for me, it's like thinking about like, what are you, like, when you think about yourself, like what does that future self of you look like? Like what does she do? What does she physically look like? What does she eat? Like where does she go when she's busy on the run, right? Um, what does your home life look like? You know, what are your relationships like with your friends? What are you doing for fun? You know, what are you doing at home? What time are you working out? You know, what are you enjoying doing? And the reason I say that is because when I look back to my first start, when I first started with Beachbody, because I was going to Orange Theory, right? I was going to Orange Theory. I was running, I was training for a half, a half marathon. I had bride goals, I was getting married. My goals back then were so different than they are now. So my goals back then was I want to get in the best shape in my life. I wanted my wedding dress to fit me because I bought a wedding dress that was way too small and I wanted it to actually fit me for my wedding because I loved the dress. Um, I wanted to be the happiest and healthiest wife I could be because I was marrying my husband in that August, that August. And, you know, my goals then were more aesthetic and about my mental health and being a great wife, which are so different now. Like my season of life now is like, you know, and, and like I remember thinking back then, like what did I want my life to look like and what I was doing? My mom's shushing the baby. Mom, it's okay, they can't hear him. It's okay. Um, but like when I look at my life then, it was more like, I'm like, oh, like I was a girl that was on the go. I was coaching part time. I was like the green juice girl going into the stores, grabbing the green juices, doing all the things. Like now when I look at my life and I think about the way I want to see myself, it's like, I want to be that strong, healthy, capable, organized mom that still puts herself first and is able to help other people achieve their goals along the way right? So everyone's life looks different. Maybe you are a mom, maybe you're not a mom, you know, maybe you're someone that is looking to, to fall in love and go and become this brand new person and start a new relationship. Maybe you're someone that is trying to rekindle a relationship that's fallen apart. Like you really want to look at like what else is happening in your life and around you for you to start making changes that are health and fitness related, because it's not always just about, I want to fit in those skinny jeans and that's it right? There's a whole picture around your life because when you're able to think about where your life is going with your health and fitness journey, that's when you're going to be able to have that discipline to make those changes, right? Because anybody can say they want to fit into any pair of jeans. I have jeans that my favorite pair of jeans took a picture in that I'm like, I just want to get back into wearing these jeans where I feel comfortable in them or I'm not pulling them up over all the things and whatever. Like I just had a freaking baby. So the thing is, I really want you to think about like, what does that person look like? Like for me right now, I th I'm thinking about the fact that I want to be able to be strong and not get tired picking up my diaper bag and grabbing my and grabbing my my what's it, my my car seat and picking out Warren and having that strength and stamina and endurance like just keep going and doing all the things and feeling like I'm organized and I'm I'm filling my cup first and all of that right. So my big picture is having my shit together, filling my cup first, getting super strong and muscular and lean. And I'm kind of teetering right now on if I'm going to be doing a fitness competition or not with Beachbody because we have what's called the uh, Beachbody, um, uh, what's not the challenge? It's the um, the classic, which I had enrolled in a couple of years ago. And it's a bodybuilding competition just with Beachbody programs. I mean, that'd be kind of cool for me to do for Summit for next year. So, you know, but my brain's in a whole bunch of different areas, but my vision for what I want to look like, like, and like, I look like my life to look like is what I mean. Like is very clear to me as like a hardcore mom boss that takes care of herself first and helps other people. Right. And I know like, I want to be able to say I'm going out and I'm going to pure kitchen and I'm grabbing a lunch with my friends and I'm meeting with them, like all that kind of stuff. Like, so really like think about who you want to be and what that, what that girl looks like and like what that lifestyle looks like. Because then when it comes to actually like picking your program and moving forward, you have that, that drive, and that motivation and that discipline to get you there. But if you're not sure what that looks like, then you have this arbitrary goal that's kind of sitting in front of you and it could excite you, but it's not going to make you want to jump out of bed in the morning and have your feet hit the floor to go and press play. Especially if it's like a day that you hate, like some people hate cardio, some people hate weight, some people hate core days, right? There's going to be days where you're going through a program and you get those challenging workouts you don't want to do. For me, I think it was cardio flow with 80 day obsession. I was like, I do not want to do this dang workout. I think I called it cardio. No, is what I called it instead of cardio flow. I think I have hair, a hair in my eye. So give me a second. Ooh. 
oh my gosh but on those yes i did i had a, no, I had a whole bunch of eyelashes in my eye um but the thing is for me was like i had that no matter what mentality of i know that i need to do this program i, I need to do this one workout it's going to be hard but on the days where i didn't want to do it I did it because I remembered what my why was, right? My why was being the strongest and healthiest woman that I could be for my husband in my life and being able to quit my full-time job before I got married and like all that kind of stuff. And I wanted that wedding dress to fit, which I took in five times, by the way, before I, before I got married, which was incredible. And then I also gained back like five to 10 pounds afterwards because I ate vegan the entire time. And then on our little like, mini moon, I lived off charcuterie board and and wine and it was the best the best time ever um, okay so number two is we're going to talk about fitness so i hope that you have or you've been thinking about what you want yourself to look like what you want your life to look like and all that stuff and you've kind of written it down if you haven't please make sure you take those steps to do it later because that's the other thing is being a wallflower like just listening and watching but not taking action on actually doing that self-discovery is something else that's going to make you not be as disciplined or be able to take that action if that makes sense okay um so number two is going to be on fitness so you can choose your program and your path but it's got to be a program that excites you and that fits your schedule hi colleen so when i say that i mean like you're you're the only person that's going to know how much time you have in the day you know what equipment you have at home um you know how long you want to work out for but i want you to pick your path in a way where it's like are you picking a program where you're like i'm going to pick this program and i'm making it a no matter what non-negotiable that every single day i'm going to do this program that matches where sometimes we have programs that are you know seven days a week like 21 day fix but um two of those days is a yoga and a pilates day right or you can do a lift four program where it's four days a week and then you have your rest days and cheat days in there and that they're about 30 to 45 minutes right so you can pick the programs that you want based off of what you, like what you're going to do but some people want to do a program and they don't care about completing it in the amount of time that it's allotted for so for me when i do a program i'm like i don't care what else i have planned for that day that is a physical activity like if i'm going golfing and i'm walking the whole time or if i'm going to go for a hike or if i'm going to go um for a walk or if i'm going to go for a bike ride whatever that is for me when i do a program from start to finish I do that workout every single day according to when it's planned because to me, that's me doing the program. However, there are lots of clients that I have um, that to them, it's like, I want to complete this program, but I also like to go biking with my kids and it doesn't, it's not feasible for me to, you know, get that 30 minute workout in and go biking with my kids, you know? And then there's some people that are like, that are like, I definitely want to do a program, but I want to space it out because, you know, there are certain days where I can't work, I can't work out that day because my kids have morning hockey or because I work shift work and I'm working 12 hours. I need to get my sleep in. Like every single person is going to have a different a different choice of what their life looks like. Yes, that's like me. We're both very savage and very like, I do a program, I don't miss a day, and it doesn't matter what else I'm doing. And that's fine, but every person has a different flow. But you have to kind of decide what that's going to look like for yourself before you commit to a program. Because if you don't, and then the day that you go to do the workout and you can't because you have one of those crazy busy days because you have shift work or because your kids' schedule is crazy or because of whatever, you're going to be super hard on yourself. And that's something we want to avoid. Um, but there are so many different programs that are out there for you that you can do. And sometimes we think too, I don't have the time. You all have the same 24 hours in the day. It really just makes a difference of like, are you going to stay up a little bit later or wake up a little bit earlier? If you're someone that is struggling with getting a workout in, because at the end of the day, that's, that's when you're going to have to do it. If you can't fit it in during the middle of your day because things are so crazy and busy, then you're going to have to just wake up a little bit earlier. And it might suck. You might not be a morning person, but they call yourself out on your shit and what you're excited about and what you actually want to accomplish. And I think that's really important. Okay. Um, and in the same breath, I always still want to encourage anybody that says they don't have time to work out to do the, the 48 hour time blocking exercise that I've shared before in the past where it's like 24 hour time block of just little like pie charts of every hour in the day and you fill it in when are you working when are you eating when are you with your kids when are you doing your workout when are you sleeping when are you watching tv when are you whatever and like you'll look at that pie chart for a full 24 hours and you're gonna see like holy shit like what did i do for this three hour this three hour block here like was i cooking dinner was i sitting on the couch was i scrolling on instagram was i taking like a four hour poop like what was i doing so and that's kind of where you're going to get that like aha moment of like hey what am i doing with my life right when are you meal prepping when are you you know when are you having your you time and like it's important for you to put yourself first like that right 
it's a, uh, it's hard to get a workout in when everyone is at home and it's so busy, but I will go for walks and bike rides on the weekends. Wake up earlier, Caroline. If people are home, wake up when they're, they get up and do it when they're sleeping. You know, like give yourself your you time. Is it going to be hard? Absolutely. But you'll feel so good when you fill your own cup first. I promise you. There's Oh yeah. There's always, always going to be time. <laughs> yeah. 80 day of sessions. Steph's, I've told Steph to be a coach like for, I don't know how many times I've told her that she encourages and inspires so many people. Um, okay. Uh, next thing I was going to say is like with your program, you have to love your program. Like you really, really do. Um, you're going to know if you love your program within the first couple of weeks. And then sometimes we can get bored of programs. And I get that. I know Crystal mentioned in here, she's doing six, uh, 645. She's like, oh my gosh, the last three weeks is really, really hard for me because she's like, I just, I'm just, I'm not clicking with it anymore. And that happens. Like that happened to me with MM100. Like I finished it. It was a hundred freaking days. And it was so hard for me because the last, like, I think 70, I was at 75. I was like, I'm not going to not finish this now. I'm at the end. Did I want to kind of stop? I did. But I was like, you know what? You're so close. Once you're so close to being at the end of a program, just prove to yourself that you can do it. Even if it kind of sort of sucks, unless like you get into a workout within the first like three, four, four workouts, if you absolutely hate it, dump it and go to something else. That's something else that like I think is really important. Like if you're not in love with it, dump it and go to something else because you want to be in love with your workout so that you're motivated and excited to do them. And if you're not, you're not going to enjoy it at all. Right. I'm such a perfectionist. I need to follow program 2T. Yes. Yes. So I'm like that too. Right. And chances are that you're probably someone that also likes structure. Right. So for me, like, I need ultimate portion fix when it comes to nutrition, which is kind of a great segue. Um, to what I'm going to talk about now is nutrition is that I need to have the high priority. I need to have the structure because if I don't have structure, you give me an answer, I take a mile. Like I, I can't do the to be mindset because if I, the, she says veggies most, and then, you know, I'll, like drink your water or whatever. And it's amazing that Colleen like, is, is my example for to be mindset over and over and over again about what a successful person is with that nutrition program, because she did ultimate portion fix, which we were measuring and using all the container systems. Right. Um, and it didn't work for her at all. She was like borderline ready to quit on her journey. Yes, yeah, she's right here. I resist structure. And she's like, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I'm not seeing any results. I'm getting frustrated. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to do all this stuff, but I hate measuring my stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then I remember sitting here on my computer talking with her and us committing to her doing the to be mindset and going all in and her entire life changed. You have to be able to dedicate your time in, in, into a nutrition program that excites you. If, if you're someone that like really pushes back against structure, then ultimate portion fix is not going to be for you for me I like to know like did I get enough protein in today did I get enough of this in today specifically like I measured it like I put it into my container I dumped it out I don't use it all the time now like I can basically grab a handful of strawberries from my frozen um, freezer back here and make my shakes and know how much it usually is now right um, but like it's just really important for you to figure out what that's gonna be for yourself or maybe it's intermittent fasting I would love to do that again because I had personally had my best success with that because I hate breakfast foods unless it's just like a shake or something or a waffle. <laughs> um, but for me, it's like I'm now breastfeeding and that is not going to work because my booze will starve and my baby will starve. So I can't do that right now. Um, what else I'm seeing on here? So true. You need to love it and set yourself up for a successful program. Yes, girl. Steph, proving again why she needs to be a coach, of course. Um, uh, I've been getting up early and it's been nice. So I'll keep up with that in the weekends when we get my workout and things. Girl, I'm going to call you out and everything. Cause you're like, it, that's what I'm here for. Number one, right? Also people need to call me out on my shit too. It's, and that's what we're all in, in here doing this together for is that we're a community and we're going to call each other out and that stuff and things are going to be hard, right? The thing is, if everything was easy, everyone would do it. Like if health and fitness journeys were easy, everybody would be healthy and strong and have no health issues, right? It's challenging because the thing is our world makes our, the, our world makes things quick and easy that are unhealthy, right? It's very hard to like have that, like, what is it called? It's like a lot of people want to have the, those, those, those crock pot results in a microwave society where it's like, you know, you want all that flavor and you want everything to be amazing and you want everything to just like, be like the best thing in the entire world like you get from something that's slow cooked right but we expect that stuff to happen quickly like if you're to put it in the microwave but you're not going to get crock pot 
crockpot results living in a microwave society things take time and you need to be able to know that there's gonna be days where you where you, where you like slip up and there's gonna be days where you like you decide to go out and you drink a bottle of wine with your girlfriends and you're hungover the next day and then you have i don't know you go and you get a burger from mcdonald's you're like oh god screw me but then you go for a run that afternoon like whatever like live your life but you know there's a difference between like what your goals are and what you want to live your life like that's why i say like it's important for you to visualize what your life's going to look like like are you wanting to be that super disciplined disciplined person that's like i'm going all in on this program being able to say like i didn't slip up i didn't do anything bad i didn't whatever like, bad but like what does that person look like to you right because for me is i love doing a program but if my girlfriend asked me to go for a glass of wine i mean it's a little bit harder for me now but i'm not going to say no to that because i would never restrict myself that way unless i'm doing a competition or something like that right um okay colleen don't make me i have like 78 text messages okay you people message me on instagram and text message and facebook and an email give me a break i love you just freaking call me then um instant yeah instant gratification exactly um that's why my progress photos are key exactly i posted the other day uh me two years ago and now and see the change is incredible and not just that either either call me not just the physical transformation but like your confidence right the difference in the way that you take the photos the expressions that are on your face without even realizing it from taking them from the very beginning and it's so important to take those progress photos and like i say in our glow up prep school that i send everybody when you get started which most people don't watch or go through but i encourage you to do it i need to go back in there and edit some videos it still says challenge track crap and stuff in there i haven't gone back and touched it in a while um but the thing is that um you really need to just like dive all dive all in into everything right and then take those photos or take those measurements i personally say like you don't have to do your weight if you don't want to unless weight loss is something that's very very important to you but know that like if you're gonna weigh yourself you need to be nice to yourself you can't jump on the scale and get pissed off for yourself that you're a certain number if you're gonna jump on the scale you have to jump on the scale and say this is just a metric it doesn't define my worth. It doesn't define anything else. It is just simply a metric. And it's the same thing with anything that has to do with a measurement. It is a metric just to measure if you're having progress or not. It doesn't mean that you're healthier because you weigh less or more or because your measurements are less or more. It doesn't mean that you're healthier. You can't, it's just a metric to see if there's progress moving a certain way. So that's what you need to do what your goals look like right? Because muscle weighs more than fat, right? And for me is also like when I used to, um, I think if it's in Muscle Burns Fat, the program that I'm hoping to do starting Monday, is like I remember doing a measurement around my booty once and I went down like two inches in my booty, but it was lifted. So it's funny because like you may just do a metric, but if you're not doing photos, you're not gonna see the difference. Like you're gonna just be like, oh, like, oh, I, excuse me, my goal was to gain in the booty. And I was like, oh, well, I lost. But then when I did my photos, I'm like, oh, I did, but it's lifted. So I lost like, more on my hips because so, because we're thinking you know you're doing the measurement of your bum and you're like oh my gosh i went down two inches right and then but chance i could have gone down on my hips or i could have gone down the front and like you just think immediately that it's just oh i went down off the back of the bubble but what happened was my butt actually lifted up higher and i got smaller on whatever sides or whatever would happen so it's like that's why it's, it's important to do your photos because if you don't do the photos then you're automatically just thinking like, oh, you're not getting the progress that you want. Or you're going the opposite direction that you need. So that's why that's super important. And that's a really good example of why you should do your pictures. Um, okay, next thing is, okay, you're not going to eat. Okay, here's the things I wrote down. I said, choose one of your three paths. Okay, so also unfortunate fix, to be mindset, or the intermittent fasting, which is with 645. You're not going to get the information for that if you don't have access to 645, which would be if you want to get a completion pack right now, and or if your bod renewal is coming up, you can cancel and get a challenge pack to get access to it and get the two new um, fabric booty bands that come with it, which are so nice. I'm not going to lie. Those are the best booty bands I've ever freaking had. They did not disappoint. Um, ask for help. Call yourself out on your shit. The other thing is no one controls what goes in your mouth. So do not get mad at yourself if you're not seeing results if you're putting shit food in your mouth you just can't and the thing is i thought that i was going to have this newborn and be all on top of my nutrition no problem like oh like i'm going to do so well and i prepped all this food all this stuff but you go into survival mode and i'm like i'm on snacks on snacks on snacks my mom's literally here today to help me like meal prep and, and do food because i'm like hey i need to get everything back on order um 
but you have to call yourself out on your shit because at the end of the day, you're the person putting the food in your mouth. And even when things are tough and they're hard, the reason that you're not doing it is because you're probably not excited about your journey and you're probably not excited about what you're doing and you're probably not dedicated to a program because the thing is nobody is going to eat healthy and no one's going to be like making that conscious decision all of the time if you're not motivated by your vision of who you want to become or motivated by the program that you're dedicated to that you want to finish and go I did that and I did it and I followed the meal plan and I got the best possible results ever and I'm going to maintain that because the results become addictive and you know I say that about Steph all the time is that Steph is like someone that she it gets addicted to her program she does a program and she goes all in on a program and all in on a program and all in on a program and she maintains that healthy active lifestyle consistently with her family and consistently keeps getting results and that is about building a lifestyle and a habit that works well for you okay because that's case in point is this if you're not excited about your journey and where you're going, then you're really, really, really not gonna see yourself wanting to eat better. Carrot fries make me excited as fuck, it's so funny. Um, okay, so uh, did I miss anything else on here? Yeah, and Beachbody, how did you come off antidepressants? Beachbody helped me be a better person and stop being such a dick. I was not always a super crazy, I've always been a nice person, but I used to be very like judgy and insecure and like, um, one of those girls where it's like my friend didn't like somebody, I didn't like somebody just because my friend didn't like them. And then Beachbody changed that for me because it made me start doing personal development and start becoming more open and also therapy help too. Um, but it helped me like stop being less critical. And I think a lot of it too is like in our workouts. I know a lot of y'all don't love Autumn. I love her. I don't care. Put your music on if she drives you crazy. But for me, like I did her live workout today, her booty and core workout from the Beach Beachbody On Demand Interactive, which I'm telling you guys, that is the coolest feature in the entire world. Like you get to hear her say this stuff live and like she's just so encouraging and empowering. It just says the right things at the right moments and like helps me reflect on life when I'm working out. And that's pretty much an amazing gift. Yes, Jessica, yeah. Oh my god, I'd say half my girls are like Autumn's mousy and annoying. And I'm like, gosh, guys, like get on my level. I love her. Um, okay, so when it comes to support and accountability, you need to choose what you need and go all in on that. So if you're the kind of person that needs the bod group, you're like, I need to log my workouts, I need to log my food, I need to um log my shakes, I need to just do that, get in there, turn your notifications on and do it. Okay. If you're someone that needs the chat pod, don't just join the chat pod and watch everyone else chat in there and then say nothing. I cannot tell you as a coach and someone that is pouring their heart and soul into their clients and into the team, there is nothing more defeating as a coach than posting something and seeing, like, I can see how many people see the things I, I say or see the posts I make and the people just don't comment or say anything. I cannot tell you that if you are struggling with your own journey, and you are looking at everything and being wallflower and you're not engaging or you're kind of sort of reading things or you're muting muting chat pods or whatever and you're feeling like you're not making any progress you're doing it to yourself when you start committing saying like i'm going to engage i'm going to share my journey i'm going to share what feels good i'm going to you know share my photos i'm going to encourage other people and ask other people how their days were and you know be like at, and like be like that hype person like that's when you really start seeing yourself evolve and change as well um, and then the other thing is that, so here are your choices, right? Facebook group, bod group, chat pods. Um, and I just said that the more you engage and keep your notifications on and the more in tune you are with your own journey and others, it makes a massive, massive, massive difference. Um, uh, what is this? I'm everyone's friend, whether they, they want it or not. It's so awesome. Um, yeah, it's true. It's really about all about how bad do you really want it? That comes right from autumn right there. Bar Blend is Booty City. I, Bar Blend is the hardest program for me. I find that Bar Blend's like the one thing that I really, really suffer suffer with because I can lift like 50 pounds, no problem, but you tell me to hold a three pound weight for longer than like 20 seconds and I wanna cry and put myself in the fetal position. I find it so challenging. Um, okay, last thing is discipline and grace. So you need to be okay with the failures because you're gonna have failures. You're gonna have days where you're sick too. You're gonna have days where you can't press play and you also need to eat the cake. You need to have the wine. You need to have the hot fries and the cookies because you need to not say no to things that bring you joy. And if you're a foodie and food brings you joy, don't say no to it, but understand how you can make it work. So for myself, when I was 110% dedicated to my programs, I, I, usually all the time, but I wanna, I'm gonna speak specifically to my bride goals. 
um, when I was specific to my bride goals, I was like, hey, I would love to have a drink with some friends, but you know, like I know that this, this is where I need to get my calories from today. And this is what I need to do to make sure that I'm getting the proper food in for 80 day obsession. Because if you've ever done 80 day obsession before, if you're not eating properly, you do not have the energy to press play the next day. I promise you that that program, like, pretty much all of our programs, right? They will gas you out if you're not eating appropriately. You cannot under eat in these programs and expect to be able to give it your all, right? So, but I used to be like, hey, I know I'm gonna go have a couple of glasses of wine with, with the girls today. So I'm really gonna focus on making sure I'm hitting all my containers minus my carbohydrates and my fruits. And what I'm going to do is still eat my healthy carbs and eat all my fruits, but I will like, maybe I will have um, half, one less half of a fruit for my sugars and I will have like half less of a carb or I will make sure that my carbohydrate of that day comes from the very top three in my food list, right? Because I because I know that it'll count for those carbs and I will up my veggies for the day. Because anytime you remove actual calorie food from your diet, you wanna add it somewhere else. So I'd always add it in with like a vegetable or something like something like that, or I'd add it in with like a very lean protein. Yeah, and the buffet, bu buffet, buffet style meal prepping is so helpful. Um, that's for people that want to do ultimate portion fix but might struggle with it is prepping out all of your food based off of the different types of our containers right so um prepping out your fruit prepping out your vegetables that you like prepping out your proteins that you like prepping out your carbs so like if you want to go in the case so I need to have a protein, carb, and a fat, or this, whatever, right now. You can just go into your fridge and be like, hey, I have a whole thing of chicken that's all cut up here, or tofu. I have a whole thing of beans, or I have a whole thing of uh, sweet potato all cut up here. So that when you're going, you're picking and choosing, and you're grabbing things, that you're putting your carbs, your proteins, your, you're grabbing your fruits, whatever, everything's all done so that you can just put it all together. So Barb, you can have access to all this nutrition information online as well. You don't have to wait for your package to come in. Just so you know, your package is just going to come with your booty bands and all your products, but you have access to everything else already all on the Beachbody On Demand website and app. So you can explore all that stuff in there, which is super exciting. And you have access to the interactive because um, you get Nutrition Plus for the first 30 days for free. So same thing with you guys if you're upgrading to completion packs right now you can get access to the BODI and nutrition plus for a full uh, 30 days free first too and then you can decide if you want to continue with it and or you can add it on or take it off at any point in time as well um, and we have the preferred customer options that are now available instead of just discount code which is super cool um, and then the last thing on here is just that, yeah, that's all I was gonna say to you guys. The last thing was that you need to just know that you have the resources to be successful and that this group is meant to help you guys be able to ask and share whatever it is that you want to so that you can feel like you're cared for um, and be able to see success. But starting on the um, next Monday, I will be starting and doing Muscle Burns Fat. I believe Caroline is joining me. Um, anybody is welcome to join us in doing Muscle Burns Fat or any program they wanna start as a brand new day one on Monday between now and then, like I that I'm going to be doing all the live Beachbody On Demand um, interactive workouts uh, just so I can kind of like get to know some of the other trainers that we have and just it feels good to be able to just be physically moving my body again because it was very mentally draining and hard for me to not be able to work out over the past six weeks but he is worth every second of it my body feels much stronger now than I know it would have been if I had actually started from the very beginning but that's basically all i wanted to share with you guys i would love 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 for you all to share you know kind of like what you visualize for yourself and where you want to be because it is like the most important thing that you can do for yourself is knowing where you want to go and then the very last thing that i want to also say is that you know there's certain things that you're going to be able to commit to and certain things you won't be able to commit to but you want to make sure that you're choosing the things that align with what's most important to you so for example for myself I know that I need to have my Shakeology every single day for me to be able to feel like my gut health is on track. It's also one of the best, it is also one of the best um, on the market for lactation, which is so exciting. I read it in an article where it, it said that like, like Shakeology is unbelievable for like pr uh, breast milk production, which made me so happy. Um, and then the other thing as well is just like understanding what you need to be able to get better results. So if you're someone that's struggling with nutrition and you're struggling with like, you know, hitting like one, hitting your proteins to if you're like binging and going and craving for foods and things like that at night, it's probably because you don't have the proper vitamins and minerals in your body. I encourage you to try Shakeology if you haven't done it or recommit to it. And I don't mean like have it one, one day and then wait like four days. Like 
you're not going to see the results from it unless you're using it every single day. It is not, it's not meant to be just like kind of sort of have it here and there. It's meant to be like just the same way that you are, um, that you've been taking like a multivitamin or anything like that. And then also if you're struggling with performance, that you're not feeling as motivated when you're working out, you cannot not feel motivated when you're using our free workout. It's so good or energized. I just had my recover once I finished my workout and I find myself always going back to the time nutrition from 80 day obsession. Um, anytime I do my workouts, because I will be like, okay, after every workout, I need to have my fruit and my recover because that's what's like literally right afterwards and then be able to have my carb, my protein, my fat, carb, protein, fat, and vegetable um, after every workout as a post-workout meal too. And you can get all that information on time nutrition either under the 80 Day Obsession program materials or you can get it in the Nutrition Plus and or also Portion Fix area of Beach Party On Demand. So there's just so many different resources that are there for you guys. Um, Yay, down for the next two. You're, oh, you're down, like not, can't do anything for the next two weeks. But you can focus on your nutrition, so that's good. That's good. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. I want to try to keep it. I didn't want, want it to be super, super long, so I think I'm probably about like at that, 20, that 30, 30 something minute mark, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, but that's it. I'm so excited to see who's going to be joining us on Monday, either starting at day one or continuing with their program and just committing in. Um, I'm 110% like, going all in on um committing to the bod group i'm so committed to our chat pods but have not been committed to our bod group so know that i am in there with you i'm going to see you guys commenting on all the things and recognizing you guys um you're so welcome barb you're welcome Cass. but just know that i'm here along the ride with you guys now that i can work out which i'm so excited for and we can all do this together and i will chat with you guys later and let me know if you have any questions or anything i'll make a post later on today um so that you guys can share like what your vision is for yourself moving forward and what you're committing to for Monday. All right. Love you guys. And we'll have a couple more um, lives and stuff coming up for the rest of this month. I will share a schedule with you guys as soon as I have time to make one. All right. Bye.